Have you ever tried to explain something new to your audience and they just didn't get it? Clarity is defined as the quality of being coherent and intelligible. Stick around and we'll discuss this evasive concept a bit more. I'm Christine Harper. And I'm Ernie Davis. And we're from Powerhouse Motivation. It was my first writing class in college um, when my professor gave me some feedback. He said, Christine, you write like you speak. Well, I didn't quite know what to make of that comment at first. I mean, I wanted to write like Toni Morrison, complicated, deep stuff that made you really think about what the message was. My Brooklyn defensiveness took over and I gave him a look and he tried to explain further. He said, this is a good thing. You are very clear. You write just as if you were explaining it to someone. And I like it. Really, I really like that story that you shared about the professor. And I like, I like what he told you at the end. Can you say that again so, so everybody can make sure that they heard exactly what he told you? Because I really love that. He said, your writing is, you write like you speak. That's awesome. You that's write. awesome. That's awesome. You know, right. I like that because in the book, when I wrote the book, 11 Steps to Powerful Presentations and Public Speaking, when I wrote that, in one of the chapters on page 42, I remember it because we always talk about it in the session, but I remember I said, write it like you would say it, not the way you would read it. And I don't know if you've ever thought about it, and, and you guys who are listening, I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but have you ever noticed when you're talking to somebody and you're having... A, a intimate conversation, a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you don't really speak the same way that you would speak if you were reading a presentation or a speech. You know, and Christine, I think since we're going to help you, we're, we're going to help everyone, we're going to help you to craft your presentation, we want it to be good, and we want you to be conversational. And you know, mm -hmm. if we're going to be conversational, you want to make sure that you craft your speech with the with, with, the, with the end in mind, I like to say, you know, start with the end in mind, but you want to craft it in a way that's going to be conversational. And what better way than to do it exactly what you said, Christine? You know, and the way that I say it is, write it like you would say it, not the way you would write it. You know, but what does that really mean? And if I was giving off a list, I would say the first thing you want to remember that, start with the end of mind, write it like you would say it, and not the way you would read it. But what that means, Christine, is kind of like where I think you're going right now, is that Words matter. Yes. You want to use simple words. Um, for instance, a lot of people understand now, if you were to say, my information was kept in a database, they get it. They know what you mean. Versus, I heard somebody recently say, the information was kept in an information retrie retrieval system. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, they said information retrieval system? Yes. <laughs> That is smart. That's smart. You know, I work with some of, I work with some of the smartest guys in the world, and that is one of the smartest terms I've ever heard. It almost reminds me of that PC culture we have. Like, I think it's a smart way to say they work with a database. And I think if you said database or you just work with a computer system, most people would get it. You'd be, you know, they'd really understand what you're saying. But when you make it overly complicated and overly complex, you look smart, you look intelligent but you lose a whole lot of people from your audience. And I don't want to see you lose anybody from your audience. So make sure you keep those words, those words simple. And what was he said? Could have either said database, which is very easy and very simple for the audience to understand, regardless if they have a PhD or a plain old high school degree. It makes it extremely easy for them to understand. And in this business, when you're giving your next presentation, you want to make sure that it's easy for them to understand and grasp. It just, it, it'll make you so much more effective. And we're speaking for effect because, you know, we want to get paid. We want to make money. We want to sell our products and services. We want to educate people and we want to have fun. So the next point I would say is complicated phrases don't really make you sound more intelligent. You think it does, but it doesn't make you any smarter than anyone else in the room. And it makes the listener have to pull out his dictionary in order to follow you. And we don't want that. You definitely don't want that. You know, Christine, when I was in the Navy, I spent a whole lot of time trying to teach senior leaders 
how to write reports, how to write effective reports that would help them get their people promoted and advanced. And one of the things I used to say is, I listen, even on these reports, even though these reports are going to be professional, one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure that you keep the language simple but effective. Because here's what happens. You know, typically you're trying to promote a service or a product or you're trying to get someone advanced or promote it and someone's going to read that report. And if they have to pick out their dictionary, I used to always say this, Christine, so I love that you said it because I used to say, if they have to pull out their dictionary to look up the words, you know, they may do that once, but you're losing them. And if they have to do it twice, they're probably going to zoom, they're probably going to, you know, zoom out and go somewhere else. So they're going to go to the next person and listen they to, go the, next to the next report. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, you definitely don't want to do that. You know, so simple words, but I think also simple sentences. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, I like to look up quotes. So I found this one on clarity. Mm -hmm. Clarity and simplicity are the antidotes to complexity and uncertainty. So the more complex you make your statements or your paragraphs, the more uncertain the listener is. They're like, well, did he mean this or did she mean that? Oh, Christine, that, you just gave him some gold right there. Listen, I don't know if you're writing this down, but if you got a pen and paper, you want to write that one down. I love that quote, Christine. I, I love that. Let me see if I can recall what you said. You said, clarity and simplicity are the antidotes to complexity and uncertainty. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Yes. That is all. Awesome. That is all. Awesome. You're like a doctor today. You're like a doctor. You see, you're, give, you're giving them all the good stuff. You're giving them, listen, write that quote down. And then here's what I want you also to write down. Remember what Christine just said. You know, we've said so far. Number one, write it like you would say it, not the way you would read it when you're preparing this presentation. Use simple words. All right. Number three, use simple sentences. Use last one. This isn't the last one, but this one I want you to remember. Use simple paragraphs. You know, when we're, when we're speaking, Christine, we don't normally speak in paragraphs. You know, we don't speak two, three, four, five sentences in period and we jump. You know, unfortunately, when we're speaking, people, they don't have the ability to discern that that was a paragraph. But when you're writing your presentation, you're writing your presentation today, I want you to keep simple paragraphs. I remember I used to always teach my kids when they were growing up, a simple paragraph, three to five sentences. And one sentence is 20, it shouldn't have, your sentence has over 25 words in it when you wrote it on paper. Too long. Way too long. Oh, too long. It's Who can follow that? Who remembers where the first comma ends and the semicolon comes in? We just want to understand your message. Yes. Now, sometimes you, you said something about complex words. Sometimes you're going to use a word that might seem more precise. For instance, if the woman was wearing an aquamarine blouse, and yep. you know that's the color. Go ahead and say aquamarine instead of saying blue because there are so many shades of blue. You know what? That gives specificity, but it doesn't really give complexity other than to say the word. I'm going I'm I'm to share, so share another secret with him, Christine. Here, here's another secret for you. If you're going to say a word like aquamarine, make sure you've got a visual aid. We talked about that last week. We talked about it at the last session. We talked about bringing those visual aids, you know, those visual aids that I can do for people. But hey, if Christine, you're talking to me. I'm an old Navy guy. You start talking about to me about aquamarine. All I'm, I'm thinking about the color of my pictures up here. I don't know if it's right. Maybe it's right. Maybe it's close. But if you've got a visual aid, if you've got a visual aid, it works wonders. It works miracles. Right. It works miracles. You know, and I think the last part of that, you know, because we said simple words, we said simple sentences and we said simple paragraphs. And I think when you make that simple paragraph, one of the things I want you to remember in all of this, as you're creating your presentations, you got to remember that spoken language is a lot more repetitive than written language. You know, because when you have a book in front of you, you have, a, you have the ability to flip back. You can read something, and then if you don't really get it, if somebody, if the speaker used a word like aquamarine, or if they use that database, that alternative, politically correct way of saying database, they can go back and, and read it. And they can read it and read it and read it until they comprehend it and understand it. But when you're giving your presentation, they don't have that luxury. So one of the things you have to make sure you're doing is you use those simple words, simple sentences, and simple paragraphs, keep the paragraphs short, but also add some redundancy in there. If you'll notice, I've already said it like four times on this presentation. I've said, hey, 
write it like you would say it, not the way you read it. Use simple words, use simple sentences, simple paragraphs. I've said that over and over and over. And the last thing you're probably going to hear me say over and over and over one last time is, hey, don't beat around the bush. Don't beat around the bush. Go ahead and say what you mean and get it, get it over with. They used to tell us in uh, training school, net it out. Christine, why are you talking for 10 minutes to say something that you could say in two minutes? Net it out. Yeah, net it out. Net it out. I think it's that's like a fisherman's net. Let all the water drain out and you just get the essence, get the, get the fish. That, that one's big. That one is big. And I think if you guys know that Christine is coming from a background at IBM, at IBM they're trying to get concise and they're trying to net it out. They're trying to say, hey, don't beat around the bush. Make it simple, make it easy. Make it simple, make it easy. Only use the words we need. Let's get it to the point. I think they got it. You think they got it? Hey, I think they got it too. If you guys got it, go ahead and leave a comment. Let us know that you got it. If we missed something, put something down there in the comment section so we know we missed it. We'll touch on so we can touch on that next week. Next week, we're gonna talk about continued learning. This stuff doesn't just come overnight. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Thursday, right? Next Thursday? Next Thursday. Awesome. Hey, I'll see you next Thursday, then we'll do, we'll do it. Next Let's Thursday. do this.